Where are we going? Barrett! Arjun, where are we? Yes. Habibi, we are in Abu Dhabi. I will put it in the comments. Habibi, come to Abu Dhabi. Habibi, come to Abu Dhabi. Hello, hello, hello. So, I am at the Abu Dhabi airport right now. And I have a halt here for about 5 hours. So, I have, I have a lot of time to kill. So, let's, let's talk a little bit. It's my first F1 race. And... I'm just way too excited. Like I haven't stopped thinking about it in weeks. The funny part is that I never spoke about this to my friends. So literally none of them know that I'm here. I just woke up and I was like, oh, I, I, I don't feel like coming to college today. So maybe you're not gonna see me. And then I just took a flight and I am literally in another country right now. I really wanna know their reaction when I tell them that, oh, hey. I am in Abu Dhabi and I'm going to Bahrain. Mad. Also, let me introduce you to my Ferrari cab. I have another halt here when I'm coming back and I really hope that I'm sitting right here and this cab is signed by Charles and Carlos. Because really quick, so I'm editing right now and let me just tell you guys already that it did not happen. But I'm so optimistic and so excited in that video so I'm just gonna let it play. You guys can enjoy me being absolutely delusional. <laughs> I'm thinking about it and it's not even happened yet, but I'm just thinking about it and I'm getting so happy. Honestly, this airport was so, so pretty. For the next five hours, we just roamed around, had lunch and... Oh, we met this little guy. Yeah, I was not calm at all. We saw all the teams working, some pit stop practices, which was absolutely insane. But the best part was... To us, he's a smooth operator. <laughs> Hello, good morning. So, it's the first day of the Bahrain Grand Prix. And huh, I am already at a loss of words. Okay, let's let's try to act normal, right? Yeah, I think we can. I think we can try that. So let's talk about what I'm taking there. I'm not carrying a lot of stuff because I'm gonna be there for around eight hours, and I want to be as free as possible. So the only three things I'm carrying are firstly, of course, of course. Um, next thing is my bag. It has some of my makeup, um, a power bank, it will carry my phone, and also my Formula One hoodie. It's a little cold, which I did not anticipate. I thought it's Bahrain, and I thought it's Middle East, and I didn't check the weather. So it's very windy here. It's kind of cold. It's sunny, but it's kind of cold. So now I'm not sure about my outfit, but I don't want to change it because I think it looks nice. I think we'll just deal with the cold, right? Looking good is more important. Right? <laughs> okay, now let's go. And uh, keep the rest going and mm -hmm. um, put on a show for all of you. And I love the vibe here, like people are just lying around, sleeping, reading a book, eating, 
Doing like it's a picnic out here. So I thought I'll just talk while I'm doing it. So day one was beautiful. I saw Daniel Ricciardo. I saw Alex Albon. I saw I saw a lot of people in their garage, but like not actually see them. I did see Charles, but he was wearing his helmet. Yeah, I've been seeing him so much, but it's always from the back or he's wearing his helmet. So I haven't really seen him. Maybe today is the day. <laughs> but I did see Carlos very closely. I saw Lando, so that's two out of four drivers that I really want to see. Other than that, I really like the vibe there. I think they've done so much to just make the experience so good for everybody and not just people who have like the padded passes or anything. Um, there's the simulator, there is a Ferris wheel, there are like tons of games, there is a circus, there's just too many things. I hope it doesn't come in this because I... Anyway, it's the first qualifying of 2024 and wow, I am going to be witnessing that. This is, this is unreal guys. How is this real? I mean, I used to see all of this on my screen, on my phone or on my laptop and now it's in front of my eyes. Anyway, it's really fun, it's really exciting, and of course I'm gonna take you guys along with me. So let's go for day two of Formula One Bahrain Grand Prix. Before going to the track, we stopped for a little brunch at this beautiful fort, and I thought we'll get late, but we were just in time for the driver appearances. You know, I, I got them and, and myself, you know, into this, so uh, it's not, not that extravagant really, but... That's what Charles said too, Jeff. Uh, do you have a minute? Yeah, go ahead. Hello, how are you feeling? <laughs> Two seconds later. Get it the fourth attack. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm walking to another stand right now. This is the last turn of the circuit of the track and I haven't been here before so I don't know how it's gonna look. But this is where you can also see the sunset from. So you see the track, you see the sunset. It's beautiful and oh my god, can you hear it? I am very, very excited as you can probably see. Um, okay, let's go. After qualifying, we went for Zed's concert and actually went mad. <laughs> Now. 
We decided to reach the track a little bit early. The race was at 6 but we were there around 4.35 and we saw this beautiful air show and just waited for the race to start. Are you feeling the tension? Yes. Who are you supporting today? Max Verstappen. Who am I supporting today? I don't care. Well, see the gato. Modi. I am supporting Charles Hitler. He is starting second, Max is on pole. And. But Jitega the Modi. Yeah, shut up. was absolutely magical and then we went for Diplo's concert <laughs> March today which means that the race weekend is officially over oh my god there's a bird sorry this weekend was incredible I did expect a lot from it anyway because it was um, Bahrain's 20th anniversary and I knew that they were sort of going above and beyond but <laughs> these three days were everything that I expected them to be and more. It has started to settle in a little bit and I'm starting to feel that okay yes I did attend the race weekend and I, I was really there because in the three days that I was actually there I was like am I dreaming? Am I going to wake up any second? I didn't get my cap signed though but it's okay there's always another race right? One of the major reasons I wanted to go to a race this year was because I'm a Charles and Carlos fan um, and Carlos is leaving next year. Guys. Oh, it's going to break my heart. It already broke my heart once when they announced it in February. But <laughs> anyway, let's talk about something else. Here. Like I said, one of the major reasons was Carlos. And I really, really wanted to see him in a red suit, in the Ferrari race suit. And not only did I see him wearing a red Ferrari suit, I saw him on the podium wearing a red Ferrari suit. <sighs> what a core memory. I was really happy to see two of my favorite drivers on podium. Um, well, I knew Max was going to be there, so I wasn't worried about that one. But I was really happy to see Carlos on there too. I can just imagine some of you sitting at home being like, Two things actually. First, God, it was it was just a race. Second, it's just a team. It's just a driver. But it just means so much to me. Also, oh my God, we have to talk about the race. The Ferrari battle. Guys, I was like, please don't crash, please don't crash, please don't crash. And they did, thankfully. Um, but yeah, Carlos did a really good job there. Max obviously won. <laughs> he is... Insane. I'm hearing rumors about Max moving to Mercedes and I'm like, no, what the heck? Because that would be insane. Like, guys, I can't imagine Max anywhere other than Red Bull. Like, I can't see Max anywhere other than Red Bull, Charles other than Ferrari, and Lando other than McLaren. Like, it just doesn't work. So, Max, please, stay in Red Bull. But yeah, we will see. We, we, the silly season is going really, really well. <laughs> but it is kind of interesting. So let's see what, what happens. I hope we see a lot more battles in the future. We have 23 races left. So a lot of opportunities. Um, yeah, let's see where this season takes us now. Anyway, thank you for still being here. Thank you for hearing me go on and on about Formula One in this vlog. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you had fun. And I will see you next time. Bye.